Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, coming to you in this uh, shiny first week of 2022 to tell you all about what is happening with softwood lumber sales, prices, and uh, potentially an outlook uh, going forward for at least the next few weeks at the beginning of this year. So I'm just going to start with a uh, little bit of a recap of what uh, how the year ended at the uh, last week of December 2021 and it was pretty exciting I mean normally I mean normally would be prior to the last couple of years uh, the softwood lumber manufacturing production sales essentially stops I mean it slows down to the point of really no activity uh, as uh, construction is uh, halted for the bad weather and then it usually picks up I would say February of the following year as builders um, supply up themselves with inventory for uh, expected construction to be coming in spring and so um, at the end of last year uh, prices were up prices were strong I mean I will show you the graph quickly but right at the end of the year prices were going up following almost exactly the same track as the year before it's not what we would consider usual usually that's the softest time of the year for lumber sales and prices equally normally would be the lowest prices at the time of, for the whole year and so this is really interesting that i've been pointing out uh, over the past couple of months of the end of last year the yellow line is 2020 and the blue line is 2021. Quite remarkable that they are showing very much the same trend. I don't even remember any year where this might have happened um, so closely. You will notice that the yellow line in 2020 was going down until it started to tick up, whereas the blue line was heading up. So the circumstances at the end of 2020 and the end of last year were a little bit different, especially in terms of supply coming out of BC with all that bad weather we had and the highways and the rail lines being taken out, which I think did cause a little bit of concern for the buyers in terms of whether they would have availability of wood for the expectation of ordering in January. Um, so part of the reason for that was, uh, you know, ongoing strong demand, as we've been talking about for the past couple of years, but also some production issues uh, in the West, where uh, British Columbia and actually northern Washington state as well had some very significant flooding due to these um, very epic torrential downpours, which had followed really uh, record breaking rain. Uh, so the ground was already really very soaked and unable to take on any more water. So there was really just flooding absolutely everywhere, washouts of the highways and the rail lines, um, which uh, sort of did get eventually cleared up or are partially cleared up right now, but it did cause a backlog. There are other transportation issues, just generally speaking, uh, for everyone, not just lumber. Um, so at the end of last year, that was significant and is uh, exactly the same continuing at the beginning of this year. Um, and the other thing that was quite unusual, different for the season was very strong order files. The sawmills at the end of December were booked into the middle of January for production. And like I said before, normally it wouldn't be like that. Normally, the um, I mean, a lot of times in the past, the sawmills were calling their customers, hey, you know, I got some sticks in the yard. Maybe you want some studs, take off uh, my hands, these uh, lower grade two by fours, things like that. Not so this year, the uh, customers were calling and finding often mills did not have supply. Those who hesitated were sad because when they called back, okay, I'll take it at that price that you're quoting me, it was gone. It was sold. So for the year to be ending um, in a very uh, demand side situation like that is unusual uh, for the time of year. And um, looks like is continuing nonstop uh, in the beginning of this year. Mm. Apart from that, 
Uh, the other thing that was important about how the year ended was that due to these high prices and rising prices, only people who really needed uh, wood were making orders. There was a lot of calling around, uh, checking to see what the prices were, but people who didn't actually, you know, really significantly need the wood at that moment held off on buying in the hopes that the price would go down. So here we are in the first week of January, and I'm going to show you that that price did not go down. So this is a really good table that um, appears on my dashboard. My subscribers have been able to look at that since this morning. We updated these numbers last night. You can see how the change in the price across those different commodities reflects what is happening in the market. So the benchmark uh, price that I talk about all the time, the Western Spruce, popped up $150 or almost 16% this week compared to the last week of uh, 2021 in mid-December. And the other items, you've got your Southern Pine 2x4, Eastern Spruce, Studs, Western Spruce, um, can't build a house without studs, and a specialty item, Douglas Fir 2x4, very uh, valued by architects on the Eastern Seaboard. And then your panel, Canadian Softwood Plywood, up quite a bit more. We'll have to see how that goes, but prices are not gonna go down. The price is not going to go down because, as I said, the production at the sawmills is booked out for four weeks. I don't know what the price is going to be in four weeks. So at a minimum, the price is not going to go down. Whether it's going to go up anymore, we'll have to wait and see. This is the graph of those same six items uh, in that table I just showed you. The first half of the graph looks so flat because that was 2019. And then 2020 started to get really volatile. Pretty big correction down during last year as the phenomenal price increase combined with supply constraints and just an inability of the customer to pay combined, but then up again. And why? Because housing is up. Housing starts and construction activity is still going really strong. So even though the price is so high compared to historical, demand remains very good. Okay, and so that's a recap of where we are right now, the first week of January 2022. In terms of the commentary of explanation for what is happening with those prices that you just saw, um, we have, um, what happened was the bulk of the buying for New Year 2022 happened at the end of 2021. So, uh, before the holiday season started in December last year, most of the purchases were made. And as I was saying at the beginning of this video, the order files were into the middle of January. And so that very strong demand is continuing to push production out further. And this week now, the sawmills are reporting that their order files are booked to the end of January. Um, you know, as I just said, Usually, the demand would be picking up quite a bit uh, in February, and that's when uh, traditionally prices would be rising. So if you are at the end of January, which had four-week order files, and the annual pickup for demand for the spring construction season is just starting, prices are going to be strong and pick up rather quickly through February and um, at the moment we have uh, production constraints at the sawmills. A lot of the reason for that is this harsh weather that we are having in British Columbia. Uh, the last week brought um, Arctic type temperature. I mean the rest of Canada laughs at us but it was uh, very cold very quickly. Um, you know minus 40 Celsius uh, in which is actually minus 40 Fahrenheit. Um, in the uh, sawmill country, and that is impeding timber harvest. So that's the feedstock for the sawmills. And if, you know, normally a sawmill would build up its log decks before the holidays and already have good log supply now for when this demand that's coming in February. Uh, and so 
it really could be a difficult situation for us here in Vancouver. If there is snow and like really cold, it usually only comes, it usually comes around February and we're having it, you know, we had it over the holidays and now. So the thing is when, you know, it's not that cold weather is, an, is impossible to deal with, but it's when it's not expected. When, when industry does not expect the sudden snap of cold to come at that time of year and now at this point cannot bring heavy equipment out of the forest, um, roads are a real problem, uh, trucking has been a problem, you know, regardless, as I said. And so it doesn't look terrible, but what I'm going to say is we know for a fact that prices are not going to go down. So those people who are hesitating to buy because they're thinking this is an unusual time of year for prices to be so high, prices might not go higher. They might not stay as high as, you know, the record-breaking levels that they were in spring of 2021, $1,600 on uh, Western Spruce 2x4. But from the levels that they are right now, there's no reason for them to go down, um, at least for the next month. Um, and so that's, uh, most of the insight that I have right now for this first week of January, 2022, I will be, uh, making weekly updates, uh, as people just really, uh, seem to want to know more regularly what I was, uh, reporting, uh, sort of monthly last year, um, on my YouTube here, click subscribe to, uh, be notified when I make a new video. Uh, click like so other people can get a chance to look at it. But more importantly, if you uh, like the information that I tell you, this is just a very small snapshot of the full data that we report on uh, every week for subscribers. Uh, 497 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices uh, and 1200 word market commentary to explain why those prices have changed. So if you're interested to see a sample of that, what we do, go on my website, madisonsreport.com. There's a link in the caption here. And along the top there is a menu, subscribe. You can fill out a form and we'll send you a sample. And if you like what you see, it's uh, $989 US per year to get uh, 50 updates uh, weekly, every week except uh, the holiday season. And you get that overnight Thursday, so Friday morning when you turn on your computer, you can log into your dashboard and immediately see all of this information straight from the source to your desktop.